graced. The grace to grow in all dimensions and in all directions. I see what God is trying to do with us. He's trying to bring us to a place where our lives will become an issue to the devil. Your life becomes such a threat. He says, all thy people shall be righteous. Then they shall inherit the land forever. He says, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that which cannot be uprooted by man must have been planted by God himself. Because what men plant, you can uproot anyhow. There is no weapon formed that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Now, now we have always read that and studied, but the second part is the part that excites me. He says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. The word heritage comes from your word inheritance. It is bequeathed to a certain group of people. It takes maturity to serve. If you are not matured, you will never serve. Even when you try to serve, you will serve wrongly. That's why it is necessary to allow the Spirit of the Lord help you grow this month. Your limitation as a believer is not in the spirit, it's in the mind. The servants or service in the kingdom qualifies you for the righteousness of God. Your establishment and my growth is meant to bring glory to God. That is the essence of a testimony. So the believer who refuses to grow will have his life limited. Will have his experience limited. Those who serve in the house of God have a certain inheritance that is bequeathed to them by God. But, but the scripture says if he refuses to grow he will not partake of it. He says the hair for as long now when he talks about the hair he's talking about an inheritance. The hair is someone who is qualified to assume a position of possession of taking what is been bequeathed to him. The communion table means so much to us because we know what Jesus died for. That his death and his resurrection can remain a story with no fruits and benefits in your life if you do not pursue, if you do not consciously pursue growth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. He's talking about growth there. He says that this growth, he says, he wish above all things that you might prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. And I was talking to you recently, I said to you, I said, this is not talking about the, 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 the prosperity of the spirit. He's talking about the prosperity of your soul. He says, as your soul prospers, he talks about mental, mental growth. Your spirit does not grow. Your spirit is born again, is born again. Instantly, it is man. It is when you become born again, your spirit instantly becomes like Jesus. God, the Bible says, God does not tempt anybody. So if He knows you cannot do it, He will not tell you to do it. It's a amount of growth, all round growth, supernatural growth. It will affect our finances. It will affect our marriages. It will affect our relationship. It will affect. It will affect our health. It will affect everything around us. 